Hi there, this is Elijah speaking. In this video, we're going to see how to troubleshoot a connection problem between smart console and the management server. So let's say that we're trying to log into our management server, okay, by using the smart console and unable to connect the server. Okay, so how do we troubleshoot this? So it just says unable to connect to server. Uh, okay, and what does it mean? So, first thing first, and this computer when I'm logged in, uh, reach the management server. Okay, let's find out. Open my prompt, and I know my management server is sitting at 65 64. I have reachability so. Was lying. Okay. See, I can ping. Uh, can I SSH to it? Let's see. 1065, 74. Oh, I can. So, how come you're saying I can connect? Is there a firewall in the middle? Now, even if there were a firewall, which service would you be looking for? Okay. So, in this case, uh smart console to talk with management server it does so using a port uh 19009 i'm going to draw here so you guys can have a picture so let's say this is smart console yes and it has to connect to management server Server on this port 19009. This is where this process is running CPM. M. And I know for a fact that this CPM service then is going to forward this request. Um, it's going to forward this request to firewall management okay okay great so what we have to validate is whether this service is running on the management server and whether we can see the connection from our machine running smart console is reaching the management server let's do that so we have to use the linux shell uh, a by shell and we can reach it through expert mode okay so let's see the connection table we do that we run the command net stat uh, minus an and we're going to filter because otherwise we would have uh, an yes we wouldn't be able to see nothing so let's filter uh, looking at the what am I doing wrong? Oh, sorry. And yes, by looking for this port and I don't see it. So this tells us a lot, right? Problem solved. We can see this port. Why? Well, one of the reasons might be that um, the service is down. Uh, we have to restart the service. We have to restart the management server. But if we can see this port uh, on the connections table, so this already tell us, okay, there is a problem on the management server, not on smart console, not uh, on the PC where currently smart console is installed, not on the firewall, okay? So that's how at least I can, I would approach to solve this problem. And if I try again, uh, let's type the password most likely I'll get the same result okay now you can see that it's still thinking and I have a different output so right now I have the port alive or in the listening state and I don't have any filter and this is my smart console 
sorry, this is smart console IP address. And I can see that the connection is established, but still, uh, smart console is unable to, to log in. You can see that right now I have a different message. Okay. So before it said that there was no connection and now the operation timed out. Why? Well, because now the services they are initiating and one service relies on another to uh, do its thing and based on these we can see that cpm it's going to forward to fwm and fwm is going to do its own things probably is relying on other services as well if i remove this filter let me see if you can have a look at least for 19 something oh man you're terrible Yes, if I look at other services, other ports, we can see that some of them are listening. Let me let me just remove this just to give you a look. You can see uh, we have different services, different ports that are, are in listen. So probably they're still loading, and it will after some while uh, all of these ports they will be uh, on the listen state and will be able to log in. Okay. So this is just one of the approach uh, that I would take to diagnose this connection problem between the, man the smart console and the management server. I know we're not able to log in yet, but just let give some more time. And what I'm going to do is to show you this table that was made by uh, Heiko, uh, he's a contributor at Checkmates, and okay, and the, we, he drew this table that shows most of the connections between uh, different uh, checkpoint products, and the one responsible for the authentication and validation uh, in this case is the one I was referring, 1909 CPM, and we see. That's the flow. So smart dashboard is was or is for other versions. One of the clients that used to manage the management server. And it used the same port 1909 and the service is CPM. Okay, and we have other ports here in case we are troubleshooting. This is going to be very useful if you know these ports. Actually, the time I took uh, my CCSM, um, you're required to know most of these ports uh, because of the services. Uh, when you when you're about to troubleshoot connection problems uh, between different products, and another resource that I'm going to reference here is uh, I already had this open is the server architecture and this is for mds but this applies also for uh, the management server and this gives you a little more detail about those services and it's fundamental that you understand what's the role of each service that can help you troubleshoot uh, uh, in a situation like this so let's try once more if I have a different output, sorry, you, you see that right now I have more ports uh, available. Uh, if not, it's going to be successful or not. And it's connecting to server. This is going to time out. Authentication to server fail. Now, actually, I, I, I typed the wrong password. Oh, nine. Uh, you see still reaching connection established and we got a different message so i know that you only get better solving these problems actually if you're facing these problems uh but it's just something that you can work on now i'm going to type the correct password and i know that the process is to load and load and then get to initializing services and so on and so forth okay so that's it guys, this is what I want to share with you guys. Actually, this is the approach that I take when solving different types of problems. Again, in order to solve the problem, actually you have to understand first how the process works, 
um, and then define a scope on where to start solving the problems. Uh, in this case, I started at the application, uh, but I could take a different approach, like looking firstly at the PC, my PC, whether it's connected or not, or uh, looking at the management server. The thing is that you have first to set your scope and then start from there. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.